All right, hey guys, welcome again to Fire Alarms and Such, and this is Notifier AFP 200 Test 2, a request test by Dale Nuss. So we're going to start down here with point one. We have the Firelight BG12L. This is my dual action conventional key locking pulse station. If we go up here, we have the System Sensor Spectral Alert Classic 1575 Candela Horn Strobe. This is running on Code 3 Electromechanical Horn. And like I said, 15 Candela, fixed Candela. And this will be running through the sync module to keep it in sync. If we go all the way down here, this is my System Sensor Mass, also set at 1575 Candela and 800 Hertz. So this will be doing the 800 Hertz tone. I know I have tissues in it, it looks ugly, but it was so loud you couldn't hear any of the other horns through it. So I had to put something in it to quiet it down so you could actually hear the other stuff. Because on camera, all you could hear was this. And that wasn't very awesome. So if we continue down here, we have the Firelight BG10L. This is my conventional push and pull key locking pull station by Firelight. I got this brand new in box for Christmas. So that was a really nice surprise. And then if we come over here, we have the Notifier BGX101L. This was my adjustable one that I made conventional push, pull, and key lock by Notifier. And then there's my other device, is a System Sensor P2R Spectra Alert Advanced. This is also running through the sync module, so it will two wire audible silence. That one is also hooked up, that one is also hooked up through two wire, and that will be running on two wire audible silence as well. Fan is up and active, and I don't really think there is much else to do. So, let's pull. And we will silence, and all devices silence with the strobes still going. That one is strobing really fast because I didn't realize until just a little bit ago when I was reading the fine print on that 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 is a 12 volt device. I'm hooking it up to 24, 24 volt power, so the capacitor is filling up really fast. Don't try that at home, but it's my only mass and I like it, but I hopefully am getting a 24 volt version soon because I didn't realize that until just a little bit ago that that is a mass 12 volt. So, let's reset the pole. Fan is going, making it nice and cold down here. So we're moving the air around. And you see this just the standard BG12 inside with your toggle switch. And we'll reset from the panel. Panel resets, strobe stop, and fan turns off, and it resets rather quickly. So, let's go pull the next device, shall we? Here we go. Push, then pull. And we'll just reset without silencing and it will turn off everything. So then we are going to then go pull the last notifier pull station and then we will smoke test the smoke detector out here. So that's all nice and reset. Let's actually close the door. Let's make this look nice. Come over here and pull the last pull station. Here we go. Push and pull. You can silence that, the pull station over there is reset as you saw, and you can reset. It also does a small lamp test. So, 
now we will smoke activate the detector in here and then magnet test the detector in the storage room. So we'll close this up and let's get our paper and lighter going. Once again, don't try this at home. Ow, it's hot. I don't think that's going to be enough. And we just hope we don't trip the uh, simplex device. These ones had to be so close because there was plumbing in the other joists behind, so I couldn't put this one in the center, which kind of sucked. Come on, hit pre alarm. So we'll let the fan just kind of blow that out a bit and then we can magnet test the detector in the back room. We just put our magnet up here on the little notch. Reset and hopefully that will have cleared out enough smoke. See, might go off again. Nope, awesome. All right, so that has been Notifier AFP 200 Test 2, a request test by Dale Nuss. So, thank you guys for watching, and as always, have a wonderful day.